Good morning. It's Butterfly. Gosh, I haven't been on my own channel for months. We're here uh, in the middle of September 2023. And honestly, I think the last video that I made was November 22. So it's been, it's been like 10 months. So um, I have been busy. And I do have something that I want to share. I interesting because I, I think about my channel frequently like throughout the day every day but I just um, life gets very busy um, and uh, gosh days just turned into months very easily at any rate um, I'm really glad that you've come and stopped by to visit um, especially if you're somebody who's kept me lingering in your subscriptions so <laughs> I'm grateful for that thanks for stopping by um, so I guess um, in keeping with my channel, sometimes I've been thinking about the direction um, of my channel and what I want, and sometimes I want to deter a little bit, and sometimes I'm like, no, my niche is really, you know, psycho-spiritual. Um, <clears throat> and what's been keeping me busy for the last two years is that I did decide to go back to school. Have I ever really left? I don't know. <laughs> Just keep on um, doing more. So uh, in... January of 2020, I started doing a Master's of Arts in Counseling Psychology program. And uh, so now I'm on the tail end of that, I'm finishing off the last 10 weeks of practicum, and then I'm done. So by December this year, I should be done. Um, and in doing so, um, I've changed my, my job. I used to work more in addictions. And although I still have clients who come to see uh, me for addictions, um, my scope is a lot more broad and instead of doing sort of psychoeducational, um, counseling, sort of supportive counseling, I continue to do that, but now it's more of a therapeutic approach. So that's sort of like my home life. Um, and I find that sometimes my mindset has changed, um, in, in the things that I gravitate towards. Um, so that, that has been a bit of a, a thinking point for me as to what I'm going to be putting in and, you know, out on my channel. Um, most of my life in my, in my, uh, psycho spiritual wellness, I've gravitated towards doing things like witchcraft, uh, which essentially, um, kind of like a witchcraft light <laughs> because I, I really enjoyed a lot of those practices and I still do some. Um, but it's, a lot more, what can I say, secular, you know, candle burning, uh, writing things down, journaling, tarot cards is definitely, um, has been my best counselor throughout my adult life, uh, because I use it as an introspective tool. So there's a lot of things that I still continue to do, uh, but my reading about witchcraft has really changed and my perspective on it, um, has been changing as well. And I'll explain to you why. Um, because as a spiritual practice, um, I like, I like a lot of the things that I do and I have, you know, that the introspection, the journaling, the meditation has been taking much more front and center stage, uh, in my practice, mostly daily. Um, cause I, I find it's a way to plug into wellness and plug out of all this electronic sort of demands and stresses of life, which is crazy making. <clears throat> And, um, and okay, so the shift um, has to do basically with internal and external locus of control. And I know I have talked about this before, um, but I, it, it, it takes even more importance as I, as I move forward in these um, latter years of my life, in the second half of my life, I guess. Um, I find that when, when I look towards... Um, any kind of religion, like uh, I was brought up Catholic, where you have God beliefs, that deity, that supreme all-knowing sort of puppet master with, for me, questionable motives and definitely a maladaptive parenting style. Um, I kind of have let go of that. And so doing more spiritual practices where I could burn incense and candles and set my intentions and do introspection, that, that became uh, more at the forefront. 
However, a lot of the exploration that I did with Wicca and witchcraft in general has to do with God beings, God, uh, gods and goddesses, you know. And for me, uh, for me now, um, it ends up being a, uh, a fate or a giving up to a supreme being, uh, an all-knowing sort of spiritual being that for me brings a lot of disappointment and I found that it was an external lo locus of control where I give up some of the control of my life and say well somebody else is the pu puppet master uh, and, and I and I think I've come to terms with the fact that that's for me at least at this point in my life it's just not been okay so my shift then uh, becomes an internal locus of control where um, I may not have all kinds of control over um, the things that happen in my life, like the external factors, what people say, what people do, um, how they react, how they respond. But I do have control over some of the things that happen to me. And so uh, sometimes I will set intentions and put it out into the ether, put it out into the universe, put it out into something that may be a collective consciousness that involves all of us, uh, as opposed to some disembodied um, being whose judgment I'm constantly frustrated with. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with that. Um, I think I want to keep today's video rather short because um, I just, uh, I want to be able to kind of reconnect with you. Um, and I want to share that perspective on um, external and internal locus of control, especially in with relation to religion slash spirituality slash whatever kind of practice um, that I may be that I may be doing. <clears throat> One thing that um, I have been embracing a lot more uh, is a practice of meditation and mindfulness. And so, um, like for instance, cleaning can be a meditation cleaning can be done mindfully and when I've been looking around my home with all the dust bunnies and all the things that have been left aside and left ignored um, because I've been doing homework and I've been doing reading and I've been seeing clients and some of them are unpaid because it's practicum and some of them are paid because it's work and, uh, and then there's parenting and then there's trying to manage a whole bunch of stuff and sometimes the the dust bunnies really get collected and just treading water with daily dishes um is all i can get done right yard work gets neglected and so on and so what i ended up doing recently was uh just doing one thing at a time mindfully and so i vacuumed uh, the kitchen mindfully and really sort of paid attention to the senses and the, the, the touch and the smells and the sounds that were going on and not necessarily busying myself with music playing in the background or neg negative conversation in my head. I kind of just sort of did it mindfully and be present in the moment. Um, so putting into practice what I talk about theory, it really worked. Um, I ended up cleaning uh, much of the kitchen, the dining room, and then later on I ended up having enough energy because I didn't feel depleted by that because it was an energizing practice. And then I ended up cleaning the upholstery in my car and vacuuming that up and then having an upholstery cleaner and getting that done. So uh, I just feel s wonderful about that. I feel really accomplished about that. Uh, and at the end of it all, although I was tired and I had some sore muscles the next day, I was not just so... Um, you know, the thoughts that were going on in my mind for all those several hours were not negative. They were just, oh, how good I'm going to be feeling and it's going to be nice to, you know, sit down in a nice clean seat. And um, so as cheesy as that sounds, it's been working for me. And uh, it helped me to get things done in a really pleasant way. So that's how I internalized my success. And that's how I took um, an internal perspective rather than a external sort of expectations coming on to me. So I wanted to share that with you. I'm just coming in to touch base. I would love to hear if you have any thoughts about internal and external locus of control, if you've been practicing some mindfulness practices, and if you have indeed any thoughts that are productive conversation to be putting in the comments down below, I'd love to hear from you. Okay, so onward and upward, take care, and I look forward to hearing from you.